know this is going to be your April read, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for April 2021. Okay, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. Take what does. Leave what doesn't. You can always come back to these. Sometimes, sometimes they take a while to kick in. Sometimes they mean something now, and then mean something completely different later on down the line. Also, energies are interchangeable, okay? Um, and I would urge you to check out your other signs, okay? Um, yeah. And we have other videos that we're back in full effect doing. So we're back doing the random real shits and we are back doing um, daily love for the time being. So I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Scorpio for the month of April, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two more shuffles, I'm being told. It's like told without the L. Not sure, toad. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I just got like a pounding, almost like a migraine type of feeling on the right temple, right temple forehead area. I'm not sure what that's about. <clears throat> Porcupine, you may defend yourself honorably without hurting those close to you. All right, Scorpio, so we all are familiar with the stinger of the Scorpio, okay? Um, you're able to defend yourself and say how you feel. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. You're able to um, say how you feel, and then the, um, actually the octopus just came out and tried to show itself to me. Oh, and I pulled on the wolf, but yeah, uh, there it is, the octopus. Um, you're able to stand up for yourself and say how you feel. You're able to defend yourself and, um, you know, not take any shit, but also not having to hurt people's feelings and sting them and stab them and poison them. Okay. You can do it in a very tactful way. Um, and this may be not the easiest thing that you're doing or have done in a while because I'm getting the uh, feeling that certain things have festered. You may have said um, things here and there, but what I'm really getting is that it wasn't enough or you felt like it fell on deaf ears or you tried to say it in a nice way and um, didn't feel like you were taken seriously. And in the end, what I'm kind of feeling is that you let it continue or ex you somehow um, possibly excused the behavior um, and it seems or seemed to have gotten worse to where now I'm feeling like you're wanting to explode or sting. Hold on real quick. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Um, now you're wanting to sting or explode or... Um, you know, do that in some sort of a volatile way, which, you know, uh, Scorpio words can just slice someone right in half, but we don't want to do that. I mean, we want to do that, but we don't want to do that, you know? So careful with that. Okay. I am going to take the card of the Scorpion because of the way that it showed up for the Scorpio uh, reading, but I'm taking it as an extra card. So yeah, Scorpion in a new relationship, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. Okay, in a new relationship, um, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. Not everything is sugar and spice and made everything nice. Um, not everything is just so lovey-dovey and uh, exciting and blissful without that level of pain. So, um, and I... <sighs> It doesn't necessarily feel like just a new relationship. It feels like a relationship that is evolving and changing and shifting very fast. So it always feels new. It's really weird how that relationship is wanting to come across. But yeah, we're just going to take that as an extra card. <clears throat> Put it over here for now. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Kangaroo. As events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. I've been getting this for you um, a lot. Actually, this something similar came through in the Pisces and the Cancer reading. All the water signs seem to be um, just rushing ahead. This energy also came out in the daily message. Um, and not, not rushing, 
um, pushing, I should say pushing forward, like continuing to push forward, making yourself get up, making yourself do it. You know, a person that is really on a mission um, is how this energy has been wanting to come through and you are doing it. You are going forward and I don't feel like you're allowing anything to stop you. Now, of course, things are going to um, create bumps and, and, turns and curves that you were not ready for possibly i'm seeing someone get a flat tire and it's like okay i jump out i do i i um you know i'm seeing them put the spare on um they're they're like working like pit crew speed um and then they are rerouting so that they're hitting a shortcut and taking that three minutes off the trip uh, still like they're just chugging along no matter what and it's not even really a thought it is just a reaction it is just instinct so a really great energy Scorpio I'm seeing you just no matter what you're plowing forward is how it's wanting to come through like no matter what is stepping in your way or aims to stop you no matter how many doors are getting shut in your face no matter how many obstacles are um, being thrown at you uh, you, you're just kind of, you're just continuing to go. So again, as events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. So there may be also things that finally you have pushed through. You may have been having a really tough go at getting certain things to fall into place, align. Um, I'm hearing um, making making headway. You may have had an, an issue making headway or as you felt it, um, just being overwhelmed and just having literally every door shut in your face and constantly being turned down, turned away, or just, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm seeing these things starting to fall into place and you're just now, now things are really, really, um, going forward. Um, so whether it is you just continuing to chug along or now things are finally just clicking, um, I, I'm really honestly seeing you unstoppable Scorpio. I love this energy for you. There's a level of acceptance here over here. They're telling me to point, they're pointing me back to this card, um, it's telling me there's a level of acceptance now with this relationship. It's going to come out these relationships, not this relationship. Um, that there is just going to be that duality in that. And I feel like you're no longer really fighting that. You're kind of just rolling with the punches. Like, yeah, there's going to be upsets. There's going to be downs, ups, hard times, good times crying time, you know, there's going to be all of this. And I feel like you're kind of just accepting that that is all part of the beauty of it. Okay. Interesting. The Cobra. <laughs> I love this for you. You've got the scorpion and the Cobra that come out in your reading that. So, you know, if you, you know that the serpent and the scorpion are both part of the Scorpio's totem. They're the only ones with the, that many, animals um, because they are ever evolving and transforming so I love this change is inevitable but with it comes the chance to shed a burden okay and that's what you're doing Scorpio not necessarily shedding burdens per se but just shedding anything that hasn't been working for you uh, first and foremost is any um, sort of self-hindering or self-sabotaging thoughts and cycles uh, that I'm seeing you shed, okay? And that's why I'm seeing you over here. It makes sense. They're saying like you're wanting to roll with the punches and you're just kind of accepting that relationships are coming with both ha the extreme forms of happiness and the extreme forms of hurt and pain. And you're just kind of accepting that. It makes sense that the change is inevitable. So whatever is happening here you're just you're 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 going with it and you're <clears throat> you've got no problem shedding that old skin and making your new skin shiny again okay so if you know if you're familiar with serpents when they are getting ready to shed their um their skin <clears throat> goes really pale and almost dingy gray their eyes get capped they look um it's like a very cloudy blue um they can't really even see that well, if at all. 
um, at that time and they just look very, very dingy, very dirty, very old. Um, and they shed that skin and then they are bright and metallic and shiny and just fresh looking. And they, you can see all of these undertones, no matter what color the serpent is, you're able to see all of these crazy undertones that you can't see um, when they get nearer to uh, another shed cycle. So I don't, I don't feel like you're having any issue with this. I feel like you're ready for that old skin to go. I, I feel like you're ready to be on and popping again. You're ready to shine. Okay. Um, and, and you're accepting this as just part of this cycle. And again, I'm seeing you very much um, down for this transformation and saying what needs to be said and leaping forward and not looking back. If you notice, every single one of these animals are looking this way. They are all in tune. We know exactly what we're going to do. We know exactly which way we're moving. Whatever may jump in the way or whatever we have to do along the way, whether it is speak our peace, um, stand in our own way, not be disrespected, draw that line in the sand, you know, hop forward, leap forward, shed skin, whatever, accept something, whatever it is, we'll do that. As we continue to move in the direction that we're going is I feel very very confident in saying that with all of them very looking very confident in in the way that they are something really has their attention all of them are looking in the same direction they've got their attention and their eyes set on something and I do believe the way this is coming through uh, Scorpio that something is a goal whatever that is for you whether it's to be married whether it's to make a relationship work whether it's to start a business whether it is to um, move to another part of the world what you know whatever it is whether it is to go back and get a certain degree a license what a license whatever Whatever it is, um, you, very, very focused, very set, very channeled, very, um, I know exactly what I'm doing and where I'm going and possibly even how I'm going to get there. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different um, challenges. These are just really popping out for you. I don't feel like that envy is necessarily for you. For some of you, it is. Of course, these energies are interchangeable. But for others of you, this is very much a message of how others are looking at you and feeling towards you. Although for many of you, I feel like you've had a bout with envy in the past, if not several. And it's not on purpose. It's not like jealousy. What I'm really getting is it's like, wow, like I've worked so hard and I've been so honest or so right or so forthcoming and nothing is working out for me. Yet these con artists, these, um, you know, weasels, these whatever, um, they step in shit and come out smelling like roses every time, right? Like how do you do the bare minimum of life and get so successful so fast? When I'm over here busting my... <laughs> My, it's coming through like busting my balls, um, busting my ass to do everything that I can, working my fingers through the bone in the most honest way that I know how, in the most forthcoming way, walking this fine line and trying to do right by everybody and I just can't seem to get ahead. So I am seeing some of you being envious in that way and having to fight, but like um, it's this steady sort of internal battle that I'm seeing you have with yourself to work your way out of that energy and direct it back on you it because I'm saying <clears throat> the way they're showing it to me is like this constant battle within to like okay you know what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how they got successful it doesn't matter what they have it doesn't matter what I know is that I got shit to do I need to do this so I don't have time to focus on how or why they're being given what they're being given even though I feel as though they don't deserve it as much as me what I know is I've got to keep going because I'm gonna get this no matter what no matter what and so I am seeing that now as you begin to shine as you begin to progress as you begin to succeed especially because part of the reason I'm seeing why you haven't been succeeding is because there's been some intentional energy thrown your way to see you fail 
okay? People see who you are, what you are, and what you bring to the table. The brighter you shine, the more authentic you are, the more jealousy and envy this creates in others. Why? Because that's something you can't teach. You either got it or you don't. So there's been a lot of envy thrown your way. There's been a lot of doors closed on you on purpose, okay? That's okay because we're getting through it. So I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges, okay? We're never envious at anyone at the end of the day because we don't know what they did to get what they have. And we most definitely do not know what they are doing to keep it. And it's none of our business at the end of the day. We worry about ourselves and we continue to move forward. I do feel like this is more to deal with others on the outside than you, but I do see you having a constant battle with this. However, I don't see it being much of an issue because it is a constant battle. It is, you are so self-aware and you continue to talk yourself out and down from that space, which is all we can really ask of ourselves. As long as we recognize it and do what we need to do to get out of it and refocus, I think it's fine. I think it's normal. I think they're, they're normal thoughts for people to have. <clears throat> okay failure coming in over here i understand that I, um a mistake is only an opportunity to learn okay and that's kind of what like i said like there's been so many um burdens and and stumbling blocks and doors shut and mountains to climb and and potholes <laughs> you know it's just like potholes that you hit that have bent your rim or blown your tire there's been so many of these little things along the way and it's like, wow, like, but, but it said the card says failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, but I'm not really getting it as a, a failure as a delay. I think it was meant to make you fail. I think it was put in your path to make you fail, to make you give up. But I'm not really seeing it. I'm not seeing, I'm not feeling you seeing it as a failure. I'm feeling you see it as a hiccup, as a delay, as a check-in point, as a point to remind yourself to be humble, as a point to um, pick yourself up and remember what makes you so strong, how you're able to learn from this and overcome it and continue on leaping forward, okay? Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And that's interesting because what I was going to say in something that I've heard said for a very long time, and I use it now in everything that I do, and I say it to myself and I say it to others um, at any point, any given time of the day um, when things are not going necessarily as I feel they should be when I have a lot in my um, you know s you know coming at me that's trying to make me give up and that is it's gonna work whatever I put my mind to whatever I set my sights on it's gonna work I will succeed whatever I do I do it well I wouldn't do it if I didn't do it well I'm a fucking beast. Excuse the language, but that is what sometimes we have to tell ourselves, man. We have to give ourselves these pep talks. Who else is going to do it for us? Okay. And it's going to work. And it's going to work because I love it so much that no matter what, I will find a way for it to work. That's why I know it's going to work. Whatever it is, whatever I've set my sights on to do. And that is your inner voice. That's your inner voice guiding you, okay? So whatever you have to do to get there, and I feel like this is how you've gotten so far, and this is why you continue to overcome. Scorpio, 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 April 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Getting into the tarot. One more shuffle here, y'all. You know what's interesting? This whole reading, it's like I'm having trouble holding onto the cards. Like my my um, grip is so loose. They're just kind of flying everywhere. Um, 
I feel like there's a, it's not necessarily letting go of things, maybe a little bit of that as well, but more so not having or not feeling as though you have to hold on so tight. If it slips away, it slips away. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be. If you had to have, if you had to have that level of a grip on it, um, you know, maybe it just wasn't for you. And I'm just feeling, I'm just, there's so much acceptance in this reading, in this energy. It's really, really beautiful. But I'm just feeling like I'm not, ha I don't have to hold on so tight. I don't have to grip anything so tightly anymore. It's coming through like that anymore. Seven of Rods in the reverse position. Challenges, confrontations, competition. Okay. Um, coming under this uh, porcupine. It makes sense to me. Okay. You're not going to let anybody stand in your way, but you're also, you're also, you're, I don't think you're out to disrespect anybody, but you're also very much, um, about your business in this reading, whatever that business is for you at this time, you want what you want, you know what you want, and you're going for what you want and you're not going to back down. You're giving somebody a run for their money. Or maybe several somebodies. Yeah, I'm hearing up and coming. The new up and coming. You know, and there's always someone newer, better, faster, younger. You know, that's just, that's a thing. That's always going to be a thing. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position. I am seeing this not as you not working hard, but I am seeing it as things like you have been working hard and it has been moving slow or almost at, at, at times feeling like it's not moving at all. With the King of Pentacles in the reverse position, I'm seeing it speed up very much as events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. That's how I'm seeing this uh, Knight of Pentacles and if you notice, both of these men are looking in this direction. We had a, we had a jumper. <laughs> and it's the Eight of Cups. Okay, now it did fall on the floor face down. Um, so I'm going to set it aside for right now. But I do feel like you may have to be walking away from things for a time, especially because it would have been the next card out with this um, Cobra energy. So there, there may be some actual people in situations that you're having to walk away from, that you're having to shed yourself of in this transformation. Now, does that mean forever? No. It's not even so much that you're having to walk away from them that is, as it is that you're having to walk towards something else, someone else, other things. The Two of Cups. Yeah, you're shedding yourself of things that no longer align. I mean, that's just what that is. If, and if it's in a love situation, you have new love coming in. If it's in a, if it's in an existing relationship, both of you may be in a process of healing and shedding things, um, to where you can come back renewed. Um, it, there's, there's so many ways that this could go. Um, it could be a business partnership as well with that two of cups. This could just be very much you with you, Scorpio. This could be you with you. The merging of your light self and your dark self, your higher self and your lower self, your creative, your creative self and your um, analytical self. Um, this is a fresh new you. King of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, you're you're. Going forward, solid, secure, self-sustained. Okay, six of swords. I'm not. Like I said, I see you. 
I mean, <laughs> come through, Scorpio. I see you going. Overall energy, you're getting through that water no matter what. Now, you do have the Seven of Swords under here. Um, but I feel like that's the energy that you've kind of been overcoming. Whatever has been thrown at you, whatever envy has been thrown at you, whatever failures have been thrown at you, whatever trust issues have been thrown at you, you've just been, I mean, you've been calling it out, you know? I'm seeing this like... <laughs> You on candid camera, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm seeing this as an actual photograph. Like, this guy thinks he's getting away, right? I mean, he's obviously sneaking out the window with all of the swords and the jewels and the money. Um, and, you know, he's the thief in the night. And he's in, and he would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for that person over there with the camera that took this picture. <laughs> That's how I'm seeing it. Like, no, I see you. I got you. I caught you caught red handed. I see who you are. I see what you're doing. And they're going to be waiting for you uh, as soon as you get down to the bottom of that ladder. I'm seeing this is like a, this is like a, uh, it's like, it's coming through like a wanted poster that went out on like an instant, um, telegram and I'm, I'm even hearing i'm hearing like somebody this it's it's really funny though it's really comical it's like i am a singing telegram and they're like ha ba wanted and they're like showing this picture um and then there's a bunch of people like that scurry at the bottom of the ladder to um take this person into uh custody and um, return all of the jewels and, and specifically I'm here and return all the jewels and hard work. And so that's what we're seeing here um, sort of uh, come into play. We're seeing all of that hard work really uh, un unfold finally and take on its own momentum. I, this is absolutely beautiful reading, Scorpio. I love it for you. I do want to clarify um, quickly what's going on with this Eight of Cups. I do feel like it very much just has something to do with the shedding of something and walking away from something. Um, that no longer serves you. And I don't feel, it doesn't, I'm not feeling a lot of anguish or pain or sadness with it. I'm feeling very comfortable in knowing that I have to go and do this. I have to walk away from this. Not even that I'm walking away from it. It's that I'm walking to that, right? It's just that time is kind of the feeling that I'm getting it. Yeah, with the son of wands. Yeah, it's just time to act. It's time to detach from the things that no longer, you're no longer bound to certain things. You don't have to be, you're no longer bound by certain possessions or, you know, whatever this is. Yeah. You're, you're leaping into action, uh, and, and going away free. This isn't, I'm not, I'm not seeing this as like emotional heartbreak or something. Not that it hasn't been heavily invested in because it absolutely has. It took a long time to get there, but that's what got this person to where they are now. And they are fully evolved and ready to go on this journey very confident okay I'm not getting a lot of sadness here so if it is something like a breakup or a break off of a relationship it must be very civil and very mature in order to um, kind of break off in this way because I'm seeing it very forward moving I'm not seeing a lot of um hatred and resentment involved with it it's actually a very clean breakaway um so yeah i mean you see the devil there in the reverse position it's it seems very clean it seems very civil whatever it is it's just time to go if it is moving on from a job once again it is very like hey thank you so much for the opportunity thank you for the time that i've had with your company um that's helped me grow into the person that i am and i have an opportunity to go over here and run this other company and i have to do it and the boss is like dude i, I understand thank you so much for the time that we've had uh with you work in here and I wish you all the best. Let me write you a letter of recommendation. That's how this energy is coming through. It's very, I, I don't, like I said, I don't get any sort of, um, ugly, yucky feeling with this walking away. It feels very civil. It feels very right. It feels very time and everyone involved, um, feels very good about it. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with your energy. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for all of your support and I will see you next time.